Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for February 7th, 8th, and 9th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Leos. Hello, my Leos. Well, this is the weekend reading, so I use two decks of Radley Valentine's. I use my Angel Tarot cards, and that gives me my main message, and then I pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? Okay. Um, the one thing that's really outstanding this weekend is that we have a full moon on the 9th, and this is in Leo. So really be prepared for a lot of interesting energy for you this weekend. I mean, you know, I feel, you know, breakthroughs. I bring, I feel like just, you know, things being pushed away. Um, you know, I, I feel like this could be new starts for you. And, you know, I just feel, you know, I just feel like it's like, you know, finish line. It's, it's, you know, passing like that ribbon and you're passing through and just kind of like, wow, I finally made it. Leo and Aquarius, you know, it's an Aquarius season and Leo and Aquarius have this really interesting in, uh, energy. They're, you know, six months apart. So they kind of balance each other a little bit. Air energy with the fire energy. So be ready to blow up. Now. I don't mean that in anger, though. I really don't mean that in anger. But the full moon, okay, so the new moon to the full moon is the waxing moon. It gets bigger and bigger, and that's when you request things. The full moon to the new moon is the waning moon. It means it gets littler and smaller and smaller. That's where you release things. But the full moon, some people say three days before, two, three days after. I'm kind of like the day before, the day of, and the day after. This is when I say get out there. Release, relinquish, and request. Release what's holding you back. So cut some of those ties. Relinquish what you know what what doesn't serve you anymore. You know, get rid of stuff. Get rid of the junk, and request some of the good stuff because that's okay for us to do. Now remember too that the full moon, you know, the, it does affect the Earth. Earth is like seventy some percent water. We are like eighty some percent water or fluid. And it does affect all of us. So there are people around us. And it could be us too. You know, depending on what other, um, you know, what other signs we, you know, what is your moon? What is, you know, it could affect us also. Um, you know, it does make people a little more emotional. So we need to be a little kinder, my Leos. Okay. Three cards face down. Remember, I'm an intuitive channeler. So that means that I open myself up to my higher power spirit and whatever the message that needs to come out, it just comes out. First card is face down. I mean, first card is reversed, and that means, hey, pay a little more attention. First card for my Leos for the weekend, the seven of earth. Okay, earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Solid energy, something or someone you can touch. A lot of times this has to do with money. A lot of times this has to do, the seven of earth has to do with new jobs, new opportunities, new, new, you know, actually it's also about pushing forward with your, your um, existing job and opportunity. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get into a new per se, a new employment situation, but it can be that you will be recognized for what you've already created because this is about seeds well planted. This is about, you know, you, you have been doing your work. You've been, you know, preparation to meet opportunity, definition of, of luck. You've been doing the stuff you've been wanting to do. And this is where, you know, the harvest comes in, okay, especially with this full moon. And, you know, I, I tell people to, and I do this myself, if, you know, if there's something new that you're requesting, write it down, put it on your refrigerator. Now, seeds well planted, it's a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. So, you know, if there is any, again, that full moon does affect emotions, so let that kind of go. Let that go. Go, shh, shh. You know, I, I'm, you know, like, like waving my arms away, you know, like, or my hands away. Let it go. Next card the lovers, Archangel Raphael. Raphael is the angelic, you know, Archangel, angelic um, healer, okay? So there's a lot of, uh, it's like, it's like with this full moon, it's like the universe is putting, you know, is healing 
something it, I, I feel like there's been a gash okay a gash for my leo some you know i feel like there's a gash in the universal um i don't know what want to say matrix universal um fabric there's like a gash and it's like it's there's like this healing balm being put on that gash for you now lovers could be about you know any of those relationships i talk about work job career which i tend to go more to more towards it can be about intimate, personal, or interpersonal. It can be about family. So if there's been some sort of a disruption or a gash, I feel like Archangel Raphael wants to kind of smooth it out a little bit. There may le It may leave a scar, but it's like the scar is being smoothed out also. Okay? Oh, that interesting energy there. Okay. Intimate relationships. Carefully weigh your decisions. Good health. Your last card of this is the sun. The sun is your energy. Okay, my Leos? Archangel energy again. So you have two major arcana cards. So whatever this is, whatever this is about your seeds well planted, whatever this is about your preparation, things are moving forward. They're moving forward in a really good way. They're the universal, again, I, I hear, you know, universal gash. The universal, you know, like a, like, you know, like a, like, a, like not, not just like a cut, you know, a gash is kind of, it's not as clean as a cut, okay? A gash is kind of like, ooh, can we, can we put stitches in that? No, we just have to kind of pat it down and, you know, and let it heal on its own. So it's like the universal gash is being healed. And then Archangel Uriel is here to say it's going to all work out really well for you. So whatever your, you know, so my Leos, you know, we, we've been going through some interesting energies here. You know, I'm a Leo also. But this is really a good outcome coming. So happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. Okay, and the last card. Here we go. So, you know, and you know, and this is again, you know, this could be very much that new job, that new position within your old job. Um, but it's like, you know, it's it's moving forward on a lot of energies, but it's also healing. So think back to a time, my Leos, where it, something happened that was very unjust. It doesn't mean that the healing will be exactly in that, you know, like, so if you were laid off from a job or if somebody said um, false things about you, it doesn't necessarily mean that, um, that that person will come back and say, oh, I said false things about you. It doesn't quite mean that or that that job will come back and say, oh, I'm so sorry. We didn't know. You know, it's not that. But it's, it's like the universe is making, this is really strong energy for the universe to make right. You know, and I like that. I, I do like that. It's to make right wrongs. Make right the wrongs that have happened. To smooth things over. Yes, it leaves a scar. A lot of times that leaves a scar. But it looks really positive. Okay, last card here. Archangel Power Tarot card is the Chariot. Archangel Metatron. Okay. Number seven, seven, you know, we have the seven of earth. We have seven here, very divine number, complete, you know, and this is, you know, the chariot to me means things moving very, very quickly, but the chariot here, and Metatron is someone who has walked the human existence, so he knows what it's like. So, you know, they, the belief system is that he's able to communicate and that he can be, you know, that he's on that sympathetic side to say, you know, hey, they're human, we're human. Okay, determination and self-control. Career advancement. So a lot of this does seem to be more with that work relationship, but, okay. Acknowledgement of success by others. So be prepared for that. Be prepared for that. You know, is that, again, it doesn't, when I say new job, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a totally new employment opportunity. It could be, it could even be in what your career is, but it's like you're taking a step up. You're taking, you're moving, you're taking that step up. Again, it you know, that gash, you know, that gash, and it's like being healed. It's being healed, a universal healing for you. So my Leos, if you enjoy my readings, please click on the like button. You know, I've been told that the more likes that my channel receives that, you know, the more YouTube will promote it. So that would be a wonderful thing, wonderful thing. So thank you for that. But my Leos, as always, know that you are loved. And be blessed. Bye-bye.